Today's video is sponsored by Lecturio. Hey Beehive, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, for those of you who don't know me. I am a third year medical student at the University of Florida and I create videos and week in the life vlogs or day in the life vlogs that give you a, an exclusive behind the scenes look into my life as a medical student. I also provide videos like this about you know advice and tips and resources and anything I think that you may find useful. I'm excited for today's video and I'm just glad that you're here. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, make sure you share it with a friend and follow me on Instagram. I have a few giveaways coming up and I definitely want to reach as many people as I possibly can so that you all can win some free goodies and learn about some of these awesome companies that I have the pleasure of working with. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. So you all have been asking for this video for quite some time, so I'm glad that I can finally share my thoughts and um, about study tips and resources with you. Some of you have already seen that on my Instagram post, which I'll, which I'll put up here, or have checked out my blog on study tips, but I realize I haven't done this on YouTube, so here it is. Um, one of the questions that I'm often asked by you all is, you know, like I'm studying for the MCAT or I'm studying for this exam or that exam. Do you have any advice or study tips or, you know, can you help me out? Can you point me in the right direction? And the answer is yes. As you know, um, I've been in school or as you may know, I've been in school for quite a long time. And I haven't always been the best student and I've had my struggles and I've had to learn how to be a student and how to study and what works for me and my brain and that has been a long but rewarding process you know different things work for different people so i just want to keep that in mind i want you to keep that in mind as we go through this video um take what you like and leave what you don't and it's all about finding what works for you so there isn't any one size fits all method to studying and to acing your exams so I know for me, I personally have to put in a lot of effort to learn material and I've learned so much over the years. So I just want to share that with you all. So I'm going to stop ranting and then just get into it. My first tip is make a study plan and stick to it. This is so crucial. Like having a guide or having a layout or a plan is how you will be successful. So what you want to ask yourself is like, okay, what material do I have to cover? And when is my exam? And how much, how many hours can I study a day? And then once you figure out the answers to those questions, then you want to divide your material evenly across that time frame so that you can make sure that you're staying on track with your studying and you know exactly what you need to do on what day. I'm the type of person like I get very overwhelmed if I have so much to study but I don't know what I'm gonna study today and how much and for how long so I have to have a plan and one of the resources that I absolutely love to use and I discovered this I think in my second year of medical school was an, uh, an online platform called cram fighter and what you do is you type in like what books you're using so like for me I typed in first aid and I typed in you know sketchy medical videos and all these things and then you put in your test date and then it will generate like a study plan for you based on like the information that you told it and so that is a great resource to use you could also do that on your own and you know sit down and write out your schedule and what you want to do each day and make sure that you know like put little check boxes so that you can check off that you did it um but bottom line is you have to have a plan and um you have to stick to it so study tip number two is to develop good study hygiene so you want to ask yourself like when do you study best like is do you study best in the morning do you study best in the afternoon or the evening then you want to ask yourself where do you study best are you most productive at the library you know at your school maybe in the study lounge are you more productive at home um, at a coffee shop do you need to be around like people or do you need to be free from distractions 
So that's very important for you to know about yourself. Another thing is who do you study with the best? Like, do you like to study in groups? Is that how you like to learn information? Or do you like to study alone and then maybe join a group when you're just reviewing the information? Do you like to just study with another study buddy, another partner, and not be around too many people? It's all, all these things you have to learn about yourself. I personally like to study on my own. And then when it's time for me to review, um, like maybe the day before the test or a couple of days before the test, then that's when I'll pick I'll be very specific and very choosy about who I want to study with and then um, we'll all meet up and we'll go over the material okay and then you want to ask yourself how do you study best like there are several different types of learners there are visual learners there are auditory learners there are kinesthetic learners who you know need to move around to learn or do things with their hands it's really important that you figure out what type of learner you are do you like to read do you retain information better if you read something do you have to write it out over and over so that you retain the information do you have to watch a video um, or a lecture online to help it make sense do you need to draw diagrams and pictures to help the information you know stick do you need to color coordinate these are all great questions for you to ask yourself so that you can make the most out of your study session because you know what works for you so yeah stick to those things and do not get caught up doing what works for other people you feel me okay so my third tip is to stay organized like when you're taking notes, you want to make sure that one, your notes are legible, that they're concise, that they're condensed. The point of taking notes is that so that you can basically organize the material into a way that like makes it readily accessible and easy to understand. So you want to make sure that you're doing that and have all your notes either in a notebook um, or on your in your Microsoft Word or on your laptop or whatever it is but as long as it's organized and it's easy for you to find you're not shuffling through stacks of papers and like looking for notebooks from like years ago that you might have scribbled something in don't do that I like to use apps like Notability that's one of my favorite apps to use um, you can basically organize your tabs by the different classes that you're in and then you can create subfolders and like everything you need. You can import PDFs, you can import pictures and diagrams, you can record uh, parts of the lecture while you're writing. So that app is very helpful. Um, and I can do a video if you all want on how I use Notability. Just comment down below if that's something that you're interested in. But there are also other apps like OneNote um, that I know I used to use early on in my first year of medical school but I just found like no once I got my iPad notability was like it and so yeah there's a, a few different apps that people like to use um, you can use Google Docs you can get a five subject notebook whatever works for you but just make sure that you know exactly where your notes are and they're clean they're concise and they're easy to access so one of the worst things you can do is get to your study location your favorite study location whether it's the coffee shop or the library in full beast mode ready to like beast the study session you have your agenda of like what topics you need to cover and then you look in your bag and you realize you don't have your flashcards you don't have your highlighters you don't have your pins and you're just a hot mess so make sure that you have everything you're gonna need to be successful in your bag your books your notebooks your pins your pencils your highlighters whatever it is make sure you have it with you so you don't end up wasting time you know going back and forth because you forgot something all right so this one is a big one this is tip number four and i feel like this will make a huge difference in how you perform on your exams and that's develop good test taking strategy and skills so the important thing is that you practice 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 like i love doing practice questions taking practice exams and ideally i'd like to have the questions and the exams that i'm i'm taking 
be as close as possible to what the actual exam is going to be like. So, for example, if I'm taking the, if I'm studying for the MCAT, I want to find, you know, maybe practice tests from AAMC of like previous MCATs that they have retired and do those practice questions because it'll look a lot like what's going to be on the exam. And another good thing is like, okay, if my if I know my MCAT or my step one is on Friday at eight o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna make sure that I take a practice exam Friday at, at eight o'clock in the morning because I wanna train my mind to be ready to go at that time. So when it comes test day, I already know what to expect. My brain is used to functioning at that time and I feel like this is just another day that I'm taking this exam. So I, it kind of helps with anxiety as well. So there are tons of apps and resources for practice questions and practice exams. Um, it just really depends on where, you, where you're where you at in the process and what you're studying for. So you all can reference my blog for a list of resources. So make sure you check that out. If you've been watching my channel and my videos for a while, then at some point you've probably seen an ad by Lecturio and if not it's because you were skipping ads and you might have missed it so i just want to make sure that we're all on the same page so basically it's an online resource that is essentially an online medical school that it provides like medical school lectures and pre-med lectures by professors at harvard johns hopkins yale all over the country like these top universities they offer videos on any topic you can think of whether it's biochemistry genetics you know pharmacology pathology physiology they have literally everything and they also have a q bank of like 3700 questions 3700 clinical vignettes or um board style questions which for me is everything because the, the, to make the most out of the time that you have is so important to get used in at least in medical school to get used to the language of the exams that you're going to be taking so most most of the exams and most of the questions are clinical vignettes in medical school and on our board exams so the fact that they offer free qbank with 3700 questions is just like mind-blowing and then they also have like as you watch a video they have quiz questions that'll pop up um, as you're watching or at the end of the video that quiz like you want like straightforward information just to see you know how much you retain from the video and if you understood all right so one of my absolute favorite features of Lecturio is that they have QBank walkthrough tutorials let me give you the backstory first so when I was studying for step one I had a tutor and basically the tutor help me analyze different question stems and would talk me through her thought process as she was going through the questions and knowing information is not enough you have like that's great it's great if you know the information but you also have to have like test taking strategy and you have to know how to analyze a question stem and then analyze your answer choices eliminate things and there's like this whole methodology to it and so that's where she came in and she was very helpful with explaining things to me and it was great for me to hear how she thought through questions because then it taught me how to think through and approach different questions especially when you're studying for something like the boards where you only have a certain amount of time to like get the information out that you need all right so now i'm going to show you all what the platform looks like and show you how awesome these qbank walkthrough tutorials really are so here you can pick your curriculum you can pick whether you're pre-med, pre-clinical years, or you're in med school, or you're in osteopathic school, or you're on your clerkships, you're in nursing school, whatever it is. So right now I have like, as if I am in my pre-clinical years of med school, and they have this awesome medical school survival guide, but this right here is everything. So these are the QBank walkthrough um, step one tutorials. And so why this is so important is because like I said, it's not just, it's not enough to know the information, but you got to get in the mind of these test writers. And so it's great to have a doctor analyze a question, go through the question stem, um, break it down, tell you how you should approach the question and like really 
hear someone else talk through their strategy. And so that's gonna help you develop your own test taking strategy. And this, I'm telling you, is like the best thing. All right, so Lectorial does offer some of their videos for free. But if you want like access to the full platform, they do require a subscription. But lucky for you, they sent me a discount code. I'll put it right here so that you can get 20% off of your subscription. And I'll make sure to put the link down below in the video description so that you can go check it out yourself and see what the hype is all about. Last but not least, definitely make sure you take regular breaks and don't forget to reward yourself. It's important that you like get up, whether it's every 30 minutes, every 50 minutes, every hour, get up, move around, stretch, take your dog for a walk, light an aromatherapy candle, do some jumping jacks, just get your body up and moving so that you're not just studying 12 years, 12, 12 years, it does feel like 12 years sometimes, but for like 12 hours straight and you haven't eaten, you haven't moved and your legs are numb. So definitely get up, that'll help you stay motivated. Apps that I like or resources that I like that help me with this is one um, called Be Focused and I'll make sure I link all the things that I've been talking about in the video down in the description below. Um, but be focused and apps like Flora are great. They it's like you can set different time increments and it'll tell you like when it's time to take a break and when it's time to get back to studying, which is very helpful. I use this a lot when I was studying for step one. And that's about it for this video. Just remember that different things work for different people and you have to really study how you study best and how you learn best. And that's gonna make all of the difference for you I guarantee it and um, do what works for you and forget what doesn't and yeah I just wish you all the best on all your study sessions and in on all your exams and if you're interested in seeing any like study with me videos then definitely comment down below because I'm not gonna do them if you all aren't interested in them so yeah let me know and before I sign out um, just make sure that you all take advantage of the resources that your school offers, you know, whether it's tutoring, office hours, or TAs, or whatever it is, take advantage of it. And like, if you feel like at some point your best isn't good enough, then it's probably time for you to reach out to someone else, reach out to the right people who know how to help you best, like learning specialists, tutors, whatever it is, um, reach out and don't suffer in silence. So. Be you, stay true, always believe that you can do anything you put your mind to. Remember, no bees, no honey, so keep the hive alive. Alright guys, see you in my next video. Bye.